Tara, pleasure. How are you doing? Uh, hi, how's it going? Mark, hello, how hello, hello. Mate? Very good. Hope you've enjoyed your liquid lunch, I imagine, when you broke, did you? Yeah, yes. you've all been <laughs> having a whiskey down there. i tell you what, it took here. every inch of my professionalism. No, I have none, by the way. Did you yeah. say no to that? To, to, yeah, I, I hear it's quite delicious. I've had it in a cocktail at Comic Con, but I haven't tried it. Are they serving it neat or are they doing <laughs> you cocktails? You know what, I'll tell you after. But They're if all they, doing shots of it down the corridor before oh they come in. Regardless, if we have five minutes of like dead air, I'll go and drink. And yeah. if you have the best indie of time, I'll go and drink. So I'll, I'll tell you after anyway. <laughs> okay, cool. Let us know. Cool. Are you okay, guys? Thank you very much. Taran, Mark, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for taking the time to chat to us at Joe Dye. Thank you. Congratulations on Kingsman, guys. I really enjoyed it. It's bigger, it's baldier, it's more bonkers than before. But before I think a sequel was uh, announced, Taran, did you, I remember saying you wanted something from this film. You wanted to see more of Mark away from the laptop, out in the field. I did say that. I did say that. I, th I, I, th I think people really love the character of Merlin. And I think it felt like high time that you got out in the field. When did you say that? <laughs> Obviously, uh, another press junket. Okay, in the way, first one, because I wasn't on the first press junket, and apparently I kept getting messages filtered back to me that Colin was getting really fed up <laughs> about how much people said they enjoyed Merlin. Everyone loved Merlin, and, uh, but you weren't there to meet anyone. So, so yeah, Mark, yeah. if you got any injuries or you had any like 7 a.m. starts, you can blame Taron for like you know taking you away from your nice, comfortable office environment. I haven't got any injuries and stuff, but it's interesting, though, that idea that, because I, I would have loved Merlin to have a bit more you know, kick-ass stuff to do in the, in the second one, because he acquitted himself well at the end of the first one but of course what, what happened this time around do you know that fight in the uh, when we discover the bourbon and everything and you have that big fight with Channing yeah, you just got annihilated literally really in quickly. the first second I go okay Merlin's going to get yeah. his head smashed into things. he's going to lie I can see you were so cross <laughs> yeah. but to be fair I, I get my head kicked in there as well it's just a sort of slightly more prolonged kicking isn't it but I felt like let's get Merlin out of the way he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's no, not yeah. just saying he's lying there so that the boys can get on with the fighting I think you remember you hear it saying after Body of Lies you got offered a lot of spy stuff and obviously after Green Lantern and Sherlock Holmes you got a lot of uh, villainy stuff I'm yeah. expecting you to be in a day with musicals now because you man can hold oh. the tune not like this guy I mean it's very kind of you to say that and and I had a go you know and I think John Denver that song you can literally stand with your feet apart and belt it out <laughs> you sound amazing in it though but oh bless you for you that you do man I, maybe they've tweaked the knobs or something I, I wouldn't class myself <laughs> as a singer but I'm not kidding this man has the voice of an angel I mean have you seen that, that film Sing. Sing that's him you know, yeah, I remember watching it with my you, kids and just thinking, wow, you know, oh, it's so brilliant. And then his name came up. I had no idea it was him. He's really properly talented. Thanks, man. Oh. I, I love it. I really enjoy it. But you look like you were having a blast doing yours as well. <laughs> it was good. You should sing in the next one. There what, we go. Uh, Exit Have a Number? Yeah. Matty Vaughan? A proper... I'm, I'm yeah. absolutely up for it. Maybe with a rap interlude, perhaps. I feel like rap's quite... Actually, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rap. <laughs> this, this stuff writes itself. And obviously, Mark, uh, I can't have you here without talking about one of my favourite films. And I think still the most highly lucrative Irish film ever made. The, the Guard. Guard. And you're saying Kingsman 3. I'm going to pitch something to you. Being a proud Welshman as well, Mark, familiar with Irish, and you also work in Sage of Jadeville. Gaelsman, Irish and Celtic people. That's... I quite dig that. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It's quite cool. And a they could Celtic be, outfit. I, f I feel like they could be sort of at some remote rural location, maybe, I don't know, in, in, a, in a converted <laughs> old church or something. Yeah, drinking lots of whiskey, smashing each other with birch <laughs> twigs. <laughs> Kicking so. the crap out of each other and occasionally finding time to rescue a cat from a tree or something. <laughs> but I'm not going to bring it up. There was that great line in the guard, actually, I watched the other day, was saying, there's no interesting Welsh people. Do you remember that scene? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, I do. Well, it's quite obviously a lie. <laughs> and untrue. We'll just, I'm not, I'm not trying to drive a wedge here, guys. You're obviously close friends. I, know I don't want to split that bond up. But, um, yeah, coming up in the future, I know you both worked with uh, Jamie Dorn and yourself and Steve Jadeville and, and Robin Hood yourself. Yeah. Uh, how, was that, how was that, guys, between uh, the parties? Uh, ja Jamie, I think w whenever you do a film, I normally find that I kind of walk away with at least one really good new mate. And Jamie was definitely mine from Robin Hood. We had a lot of fun. He's got a really great sense of humour. He's a great Mickey taker. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Really, he used to like sort of doctoring my name on the trailer to sort of have seen things. But Jamie's a really great guy, amazing guy. And Mark, you nailed the accent, by the way, for Conor Grizzle Ryan in Jadeville as an Irish person. Bless you for say, that. That's lovely of you to say it, that. It means a lot to us. To do you know what's really it. tricky about that? Because he's actually one of those Irish guys who sounds more English than I do. Mm. If you if you listen to the original footage of Conor Grizzle Ryan talking, he has that sort of Patrish, that, that English yes, I know what you mean. kind of yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. There's no Irish in there at all. But then I couldn't play that part and be English because there would be like, hang on, be, is he yeah, English or Irish? So I had to sort of invent a slightly Irish sounding accent. So it's lovely to hear you say that. And if I offended anybody, I'm very sorry. <laughs> well, you definitely not. And the final thing, everything's up in this film. As I said, action's better, funnier, brilliant. And the fashion stakes. When you first saw the orange tuxedo jacket, what did you think? I asked Matthew if we could do it in midnight blue and he said no. Um, but I have to say, 
in his infinite wisdom, he was completely right. And people are wearing them already. I was in I was in uh, New York the other day promoting the film, and there were just loads of people with these orange velvet jackets that they fashioned themselves. They do look really cool. They look very cool. Very I was cool. I was reminded of that uh, horrendous uh, jersey Peter Check used to wear for Chelsea, the really orange goalkeeper where they used to just scare you off. But was that from like put, the nineties or something? It was, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of the there, steward in disguise <laughs> type top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, again, guys, thanks very much for taking time to talk to us. Thank really you. love the film and best of luck with it. Eh? Cheers. Thanks, thanks, thanks very much. Thank thanks you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah.